She walks up to the terrified girl and squeezes her neck and opens her bloody mouth to suck out her essence. It could slow down the aging process, but it could not keep her young forever. The mirror in human form told the queen that if she cut out the princess's heart and swallowed it, before she aged, she would regain her power. Plagued by aging, the queen sent her own brother to retrieve the princess. They set fire to the village where she was hiding in the night. Just as the princess was about to be captured, the hunter came back and dragged her upstream for the night to safety. In order to protect her friends in the village, were captured princess into a deep remorse. But the hunter gently comforted her as a princess she has a more important task, cannot because of the sacrifice of friends into self-loathing. As they were talking, they were suddenly knocked down and hanged by a rope, taking off their masks. They were a group of dwarves who had taken over this place and robbed people passing by, but they only found one coin on their bodies. The dwarves decided to hang them here and the princess had to reveal her identity. The know-it-all took off his mask and saw for himself that she was Snow White and asked his companions to put them down. The dwarf led them through a dark tunnel and through a cave full of crystals to a forest full of life. The mushrooms had eyes, the animals had moss, the butterflies gathered together to form flowers, and the animals had fairies in their bellies. The princess felt at home here, she followed the two elves deep into the forest where something seemed to glow like the sun. As she approached, she saw a white deer standing quietly by the pool, waiting for her. The princess reached out her palm and stroked the white deer's cheek, and the deer bowed its head. The hunters were amazed. They realized that the princess had the ability to communicate with animals. Just as they were marveling at the miracle that had taken place before their eyes, an arrow was shot at them. The deer was frightened and turned into a butterfly. The dwarves followed the princess to escape from the soldiers. They split up, with two dwarves holding off the big man while the hunter went head to head with Finn. Despite his training, Hammer is no match for Finn, who is hundreds of years old. Storm Tomahawk is pinned against a tree, and the hunter is kicked to the ground. Just as he's about to deliver the final blow, the hunter sees a tree stump behind him and quickly rises to his feet, picks up Finn and sticks him in the tree. In the distance, the queen fell from her chair and fell to the ground convulsing. Finn cried out for his sister to heal him with magic, but the queen was too busy to do anything about it.